Jonathan Santiago says the A's are going to be better than last year's team. I fully agree. I have an interview with Nick Allen that uh, you'll soon see here on this YouTube channel. We talked about just that, and he's one of the players that got called up last year in a really disjointed time. I mean, you're only called up because, well, quite honestly, we just got rid of Chapman and Olsen and Bassett and Manaya and Frankie Montas is about to get traded. And then eventually Sean Murphy's going to get traded and uh, didn't keep Mark Canna, Starling Marte. Anyway, long story short, it was such a dis- disjointed situation last year, but there was opportunity and, and guys like Shea Langoliers and Nick Allen. And I know Christian Pache didn't exactly establish and settle in the way he wanted to, but everybody got... Well, I shouldn't say everybody. Most players, a lot of players, got a little bit of a taste of Major League Baseball through the course of a full season. And I just know going into this upcoming year, I'm guaranteeing you right now, the A's will be better than last season. Well, that's an easy one for me to say. They've only lost 100 games twice in Oakland history. Once was 1979, once was last year. So odds are it's not going to happen in two years in a row. The only question for me is, how much better will they be? Are they 10 wins better? So, like, they had 60 wins last year, 60 and 102. Are they 10? Are they a 70-win team? Because, honestly, if if you're 15 wins better, you're flirting with a 500 season. That's going to happen for this group. That's going to happen for this team. I don't know if that happens this year or next year. I think by next year. If they keep building the right direction, if players pan out and mature as expected, I think next year, like 2024, just based on the way things are going, could be the flirting with 500 season, if not for this year. I mean, look, let's recall 2017. Halfway through the year, Olsen and Chapman get called up, and all of a sudden the team, you know, Puts on a little push. Olsen hits a ton of homers. And all of a sudden, you're like, whoa. Okay, this kind of uh, you know throwaway season turned into something interesting at the end. Well, we don't have that exactly right now. But maybe we get that out of the gate this year. And then 2018, the A's went from, how many did they win in 17? I don't even know. Were they 500? I'm not even sure. They went to winning 97 games in 2018 and 2019 and the equivalent of 97 games in 2020. So... I know they're going to be better based on experience and development and confidence and a fresh slate. I I know that for sure. I just, I don't know. I think the only question about the A's is how much better. They've got good pitching. They've got young pitching. They've got a lot of tall pitchers too. My goodness. I think the average height of their pitching staff, like starters and bullpen, is probably like 6'2". There's not a lot of people my height that uh, throw baseballs for the Oakland A's. 